Earlier this month, two women and two children traveling from Singapore were held hostage at gunpoint when the car they were in was hijacked in Johor Bahru. Thankfully, they were eventually released unharmed. But in situations such as this, I'm sure we all agree, knowing a bit of self-defense could go a long way. Well, today in our studio, we have Teo Yu Chai and Chin Yun Chuan, instructors in Kapap, a form of self-defense that can be particularly useful for women. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Mm -hmm. Yu Chai, let's start off with you. So what is Kapap? How is it different from other martial arts for? Yeah. Okay, uh, in essence, it's, it's really an armed combat and it's designed for the streets, unlike uh, combative sports, which is more for, uh, you know, competition and things like that. So it's realistic self-defense. Okay, what does Kapap stand for again? It's, a, it's an acronym for hand-to-hand -hand combat in, in Hebrew. Okay. Yeah. So, well, I guess you don't have to be big and strong mm -hmm. to be able to do this kind of self-defense. Is that correct? It's more about technique and knowing where to hit. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Exactly. So, in kebab especially, we don't rely on strength-based techniques. You should assume an assumption that you do not have strength against a bigger, you know, stronger right. opponent. Yeah. Okay. Well, can you show yeah. us some of, or talk us through what are the basics of kebab? Some of the techniques. Right. Um, for example. Let's assume that you know, you're held at knife point, let's yeah. say for example, and the knife is on the throat this way. Yeah. So first thing what you want to do is to basically chin down so that this knife does not end up directly cutting arteries here. So at least there's a layer of you know, fat or okay. flesh over right. here. Next from here, your hands are up. Yeah. What you can do is to slightly push the, the knife away from your throat and you feed it into the other arm. Okay. The other hand from here. So now you have two hands grabbing this knife hand okay. and using your body momentum, you're going to step forward and you're targeting the wrist joint. Uh, so this is what we mean by not strength based, but we actually target joints, right. okay, okay. or vital points. So, so knowing sort of where our joints are, because mm. those are our weak points, exactly. I guess, right? right? Yes. For any, whether yeah. it's a guy or a girl, I That's mean. Right. Uh, mm. Does that mean you have to sort of know all over the body where those uh, points are? The primary joints, I mean, you know, you, you won't uh, miss it. it. Basically, your wrists, your, uh, right. your elbows, your shoulders, and even your neck if you are trying to kill or whatever, okay? okay. The, the reason why we target the joints is because it uh, doesn't matter how muscular you are, these are still joints, yeah. okay? Whereas if a guy is very muscular, well padded, you know, very uh, strong, you hit him, he may be able to take the impact. Right. But a joint is still a joint. Okay. Mm, okay. Well, maybe you can show us uh, some examples. I know you can demonstrate a few examples. For yeah. for, for instance, if someone grabs you, okay. you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What, you can stand up yeah. if that's okay. easier. Yeah. Yeah. So for example, you know, usually like domestic fight or even a stranger attacking it, I grab the head. The reason why I grab here is because I want to punch, I want to slap. Right. So when you grab here, most people normally, they will actually push it away. Right. And that actually makes it worse because you're pulling your own hair. Yeah. What she will do instead is she will pin the hand she attacked the elbow and she turns and this will break my structure. Oh, okay. Alright, so this allows her to then effect an escape. Right, okay. But okay. okay. well, what if someone tries to choke you? What happens ah, then? Okay, now if it was a choke, especially it's a, let's say imagine it's a wall, mm -hmm. I push against the wall. Now, the ma basic thing is to target again the elbows. Now she does this pyramid action which is this way. Alright, that puts pressure on my elbow. So when she pushes it this way, all right, it forces me to release. Right. See, right. Without using much strength. Yeah. So okay. again, it's kind of knowing because our body is designed to, for example, bend this way. Yes, when you push it the other way, it has to, it has to yes, give in, yeah. right? And it doesn't require much strength. It's basically using structure. Okay. okay. And here's one more. If someone grabs your arm in an iron grip, presumably okay. to drag okay, you away, easy. how do you get out of that? Now, uh, this will be in a situation where, let's say, you're walking and a uh, assailant comes and he grabs you here, all right? Yeah. So from mm -hmm. there. So all she needs to do is grab her own hand and spin. It will, oh, okay. Because it's a whole body motion when you're doing that. Okay. All right. So we'll just do one more time. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Right. All right. Okay. So you can then escape. Right. I see. Awesome. Okay. So these are actually easy. fairly um, yeah. simple in that sense. Yes, it doesn't yes, require hours of training, special moves. But yes, right. if you just yeah. think about how the yeah. body works, yeah. you will be able That's to find the That's why people have referred to cup up as uh, intelligent men's martial art. Mm. Right? It's about understanding rather than brute strength and pure strength and conditioning. Mm. Yeah. But right. I guess practice would also come in handy yeah. because when you're in that situation often you don't think you just do whatever comes <laughs> yes, first you run right. first and that's yeah. still the best yeah. option right yeah. running yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the good so. thing of kapap is some of the movements are actually quite intuitive mm. all right yes it requires some practice but not as much yeah right because it's just about knowing focusing on the joints, focusing on understanding how the joints work that's mm. all it is okay yeah. well we'll throw out one scenario because for mm. women uh, uh, 
rape is a consideration. Mm. I mean, that can occur. But it seems you're saying that when women are on the ground, that can mm. actually be used to their advantage as well? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I would say that, especially for women, because <coughs> they will find themselves on the ground whether they like it or not, because rape occurs primarily yeah. on the ground. But then again, we always tell women that the best defense position is on the ground, because number one, they can use the strongest set of muscle group in their body, which is their leg muscles, mm. right? Okay? They can use it to control the attacker, to use it to you know, execute certain techniques. Okay. At the same time, she can use leverage to her advantage by using her hips to, you know, lift the guy off, throw the guy off her, you know, while being pinned on the ground. Okay. So yeah. if you happen happen to be walking along the street and you approach from behind, should you head to the ground because that's where your strongest fighting point is? Yeah. No, it's actually uh, no. because what happened is that if it's a sexual assault, they will take you to the ground. Yes, right. Right. yes. So you don't have to worry about going there. They will take you there. Yeah. Unless you want the okay. psychological yeah. advantage over your attacker because yeah. when you jump on the ground, he'll be like, what is she doing? <laughs> 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 and then that's thrown him off as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, in... Um, uh, does this apply for children as well, yep. some of these moves? Yes, I, I would say so, especially for the ground context, because um, one very serious problem that kids face nowadays is you know, kidnapping issues. Yes. Mm. So, I suppose, because a kid is actually a very small size you know, person, so if they're standing, on, you know, standing, a kidnapper who comes from behind, just lifts him off the ground, it's easy. Mm. But if he were to just you know, lie down on the ground in a, what we call a turtle position, it's harder for a kidnapper to now reach down to the ground and try to lift right. the kid okay. off. Turtle position, I presume, is everything tucked in. So no. He, no? If, if I really. may show, basically, all right, yep. it's actually lying down this way yep. and putting your leg up. Mm. So this spreads my center of gravity, so that it's harder for the person all right, right. Uh, to take me away. But I can use this leg to kick, kick the person's and leg. And shove yeah. away with your hands. Yes, okay. right. And at the same time, I scream for my life. Right. Okay. Draw attention. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a good mm. thought, actually. Okay. So, what other handy tips besides the moves? You can mm. scream for help, but what else would you recommend um, if you're attacked on the street? For a child or for an adult? Uh, for a child. For a child. Okay. Yeah. Well, I would say primarily is you know we we also tell kids, for example, to be aware of things around them, like mm. situational awareness very common things like for example if a stranger offers to take them home claiming yeah. to them that you know I, you know I'm, I'm responsible to take you back home because your mom or dad tells me to do so we tell them no mm -hmm. they should stay put you know whether in the school or wherever they are supposed mm -hmm. to stay put mm -hmm. do not follow a stranger right. so this is common um, tips safety tips that we tell kids even yeah. before they need to go for self-defense right. you know, right. and, and, and was I correct to say that the first option should still be to run if you can I mean always get away from the situation yeah. then the, the confront problem, the... The problem is that it, it, you don't always have the option. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, I was attacked by six uh, persons in Australia before. Wow. I was in the countryside. Yeah. All right? Yeah. You know, um, you know, I'm a long way from a police station. I couldn't run. So I have to defend myself. Okay. You used Kapap okay. then? Did you know uh, then? I didn't know Kapap, but oh. I had martial background then. Oh. So, yeah, so oh, wow. it helps, yeah. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Very Come useful in. to know. We've been speaking yeah. with instructors Chiu Yu Chai and Chin Yun Chuan from the Kapap Academy in Singapore. They run regular self-defense workshops for women, children and men as well. That's right. Check out their website, kapap.asia, or drop them an email inquiry at kapapasia.com. Kapap We've got details on screen right now.